Last time on Chasing LA. Bitch, I'm not wearing this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I put the bitch on a t-shirt. Audio, Nicole's shirts today, period. So your, your issue with him is not something that he's ever said to him. Correct, correct. It's not about it's it. It's based off the no, interactions no. with Nicole. Girl. It's a character flaw. That bothers me and it's super unfortunate for, you know, obvious reasons. You know, you know, I love Andre down. The situation that happened to you was solely on y'all be the type level. You have to watch what you say. Y'all, that includes a group. That means the, the people who you're there with. You really just inserted yourself into some shit that did have nothing to do with you. So what was saying before the one around? They get on Twitter, they get on Instagram, and they start doing a lot. But what was saying in my face? I know this girl car gotta be sitting on E because all she does is gaslight. You don't really like me. You doing this shit for cameras and I don't appreciate it. I can't fuck with somebody so flip floppy. One minute you're here, the next minute you're there. My whole thing is, are you really interested in Jayla or Nicole? I feel like you're doing things for uh, attention. I, 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 did he just say that I'm doing this for attention? I thought we were supposed to be minding our business. The reason why I kept it so cool is because she's new to the group. And I'm the queen and I run this shit and I gotta set a motherfucking example. Poetic, we're on good terms. But unfortunately, for the elderly, that BZ was playing in my face. So yeah, we still have a problem. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> 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 Loose lips sink ships, not crowns. Cameras or not, I do this shit in real life. I am always the most positive person in the room. You can do the math, but I'm still the one. I am a goddess walking amongst angels and demons. Don't tell me you're a rapper unless you've been on Billboard. Rarely a fighter, but always poetic. Delusion or dysfunction, the queen always reigns supreme. If you don't want that smoke, don't sit for it, cause bitch, I'm pregnant. Go, 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 go. Finally here with downtown and LA, the LA Lodge Studios, man. I'm super excited. Working on my next music video to drop, or one of my next music videos to drop. It's on God. It's one of my most favorite tracks, seriously. Like the fans love it. I'm with the team, my A's T Watson. Me and him, we've been working together for a while now. That's been like my right hand man. So it's gonna give us like a full on story timeline. Like I'm so excited just to get this project out. If I had to, I might hit the block twice. So I'm rolling on to Rich Bomb's On God video set and immediately I see that I'm in church. You know my history with religion, I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here, but all right, let me see where he at. Come on, 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 I am going down to see Rich Bomb. He's recording his video. Oh God! I decided to accept because me and Rich Bomb, while we talked in passing, we ain't never had like a one-on-one -on -one or a moment together to like really speak and get to know each other. So I wanted to come out and hear some of his music and really support him. I'm in drag once again because the people are catching me off work. <laughs> but you know, ain't nothing wrong with a drag queen in church. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Yeah. Keep working, up. grinding, staying busy. Today's Period. a really busy day, so I'm gonna have to dip out in like a few minutes. Oh, you working, 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 working. Work. No, this is my last stop for the day. I'm about to go home. Yeah. I put this child back to work. I'm gonna shift as soon as I get home to work. I bet. I bet. I bet. You be all over the place. He's kicking my ass. Oh, sorry. Peace the Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good over there. Okay. So, Poetic is here, and he's letting me know he has some good music coming out. And it's good to catch up with him, too, because he's also another uh, member of the group that I just don't get to talk to too often. How you been doing, though? I, been, yeah. I mean, I know we never had a chance to really, like, you know, yeah, chop yeah. it up like that, but I mean, I've been well. I'm, I stay 
busy working. You know, I finally got back in the studio yeah, last yeah. week when I had one week off of from being in production and stuff like that. So I mean, I'm good. I'm Are we getting some we're music soon? We're getting new music soon. Yeah. I'm almost done. I'm super excited. I can't wait to share with you. Okay. So, yeah. I love this moment right now because it's the first time we're getting a chance to really just connect one on one. And Hershey starts sharing, you know, her personal parenting story, which I completely love because one day, hopefully, I have two little ones of my own. If I get to the last scene where I decided to invite a few special guests. I had Poetic dropping by, I got Hershey dropping by, my sis Kathy, I have Justin in the building, and I have my niece and nephew, Dayton and Emma. So it just felt good to have like some real hardcore support in the building. And I'm here ready to knock out this last scene. As an independent artist myself, I love to support the craft. So being here and sitting on set with Rich, seeing him in his element, doing his thing, I love it. I'm on my way to another gig, so I had to slide out quickly. Let's take the lock, take the lock, take the lock. What's up, what's up, what's, what's going on? Did you, did you enjoy my suit? Absolutely, no, you thank always you, support me. You. I brought me a kid with me. So I wish your autograph. <laughs> oh, my, my little John Hancock. You're so nice to me, thank you. Like a fan, this is my, actually one of my favorite pictures. It yeah, looks really fan. good. I do like this picture of you. Yeah. I've been excited to see see you do something with your music since we met. Because, like, I ain't seen you perform or do yeah. any shows or anything like that. So, no, I've been very excited. What is like, like, what is it like being, like, a black gay rapper from Baton Rouge? Like, what is, what is that giving? Just to answer your question, I'm still defining it. Because, you know, since there, there wasn't examples like me. There wasn't even too many examples outside, you know, especially DR, there, there's none. In Louisiana, South homophobic, you know, yeah. they have a lot of just a lot of shit, a lot of baggage down that way. Yeah. So just being gay, black was hard at the beginning. So now being kind of like thrust or like switching gear to like entertainment, like it's like it's still it's interesting. Has it been rough with your like family and stuff too? So my family's very, very extremely supportive. Okay, like like cool. crazy motherfucking supportive. Like they can't wait for a nigga to win. They love everything that I do. As an artist, like, it's critical that your people really, like, have your back because there's so many ups and downs in this industry. Like, you're told the most craziest things and I don't know, for some reason, people just don't want you to win. And coming from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, come from Louisiana Roots, my family is so fucking gung-ho. I love you guys so much for always ride with me, always keeping it real, always standing in my corner, actually in front of me, because y'all don't play about me. So, you know, it feels good to have a family like mine. And also, you know, they gave me tough skin, so I make it do what it do. LA is a place where they kind of make you feel embarrassed for being you. Like, yeah. you know, I came out here, my accent was thicker than what it is, and still you can hear my accent now. But, you know, people will associate your accent with intelligence, but what the fuck I have prior Air Force Science Ten years of ICU nurse experience, like I'm analytical smart as fuck, so don't get it twisted. Oh, 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 oh. Tried to do the video out here when I first moved down here. Like, I, I, if I feel something, I say. I remember specifically there's a club like a couple of miles from here, and they booked me. And when the owner saw me come in, he went to the host of the show immediately, whispered to the host, "I'm watching it happen." Came, back, the host came back and said, "If anybody's performing rap tonight, y'all might have to change our music." Oh, Stuff oh. like that. Like, it's yeah, we get the that, same shit. Biased. Yeah. Sounds racially motivated. Would you say that? Hell yeah! I've learned the loss, especially in the drag community. Like Los Angeles is very colorist and they're very ever racist. Like they they want a particular type of sound and look yeah. in their clubs. That's yeah. why I can't even get into certain gigs because I don't they look that. the part. Little shit before meeting her, she, I had you know no clue what all was going on within like you know the drag community because I didn't have any drag. Friends. So Hershey was the first in to share his insight about, you know, just the dynamics and the unfairness and shit. It just helped us further relate to just the struggle of being an artist, especially being a black artist. So since you invited me to your video shoot for uh, On God, I want to invite you to one of my shows. Because okay. I feel like you're Another? I've been, yeah. to, I've been to one before, but yeah, what's yeah, up? Yeah. Rich Vaughn is a no disrespect type of person. Uh, and when he feels disrespected, 
he's gonna take you there. I'm not trying to get too deep into other people's mess no more. I learned my lesson for the year about that. So I really enjoyed filming this video. This was fun today and it was cool catching up with Poetic and Rich. And I'm really glad that I got to know Rich on a different level, on a different layer of himself. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna take, take my phone and we gonna get him out of here. Okay. Riding to the top, started from the floor How we got up here, you don't need to know Sniffing on the M, I be one of those Sniffing on the M like I got a cold what a crazy couple of months that it has been Since I became somebody's daddy <laughs> But now I am like slowly getting into my new normal like this is a regular saturday for me now i'm washing my brushes getting my makeup the cell is playing with the baby he's off work for the day and we just chill in the house i don't have a reason to leave the house much anymore because i like being in the house with my man and my baby <laughs> it's my new normal yeah. no yeah you done yeah. okay Aww. Bye, yeah, you about to go bye, bye. where are you going bye. where are you going bye. you come bye. back Watch yeah. When he first got here, when he first got here, it was it was terrified and it was it, it, it stressed me out. Now that he's been here a while, the the transitions became easier. Like waking up is a little bit easier in the morning and just like knowing what he needs now, as opposed to when he first got here, he would cry about something. It's like I don't know what. To do. This is a whole other person that I don't know what to do with him. No, it's very true. He's a character by himself too. I'm slowly trickling into my new role of being a full-time drag queen. Um, it's not very easy at all because all my financial responsibility is on me. It's coming together. I'm, it's not easy by any means because Pharaoh is a full ball of energy. He's alive. We're getting a balance going here, and I'm in, I mean, I, I, I think we figured it out. I can't wait till we get to. Uh, I really just I'm ah! over this this space honestly i'm just ready to get out of here there's four people in this apartment me you pharaoh and hershey it's so much in this apartment and i'm ready to get out i want a living room i want a couch i want a tele i want i want an extra room we need more space i want that we need some more space i need i need a living room i need my couch back i need my coffee table back like we do need some more space and we're also preparing for Pharaoh's little sister to join us soon. So we definitely gonna need some more space. You've been working on this for a couple, like a, yeah, a month. Off. Yeah, a month. And it's just, market. nothing's been working you out the way it's supposed to. And it's just crazy because we've been doing what we need to do. LA sucks. <laughs> it really does. Sucks. Us trying to move as a family, but also know that like you leave as well too. And yeah. I know that like since we all like just being who you are and telling people who you are as well too, like checking in on you, like how are you when it comes to like my steps? Yeah. It's, up, it's it's honestly up and down. Like it's sometimes I'm like, I'm good, I'm 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 facing the world, you know, I got it. what y'all gonna do about it and then it's like who they you know, then it's like ooh. I want I, I want to act like like it's become easier, but it's it's still like up and down. I got my own way of dealing with it, and that's why I tell my little jokes. You know, I you know. I'm yeah, like, I, I'll always <laughs> laugh at them, but you know, cause they ain't always funny. But it's okay. But that's the it thing. Is. What's not funny about it? Jokes and joking about it is how I cope. It makes it feel better. It makes it, it does, like, I don't think anybody's looking at me different or feeling some type of way about me. The jokes are for me. It's just, it just takes the bag off my shoulders for a little bit. LaSalle actually has to have these type of conversations with me often um, because I try to honestly forget. Not forget too much because I do need to take my pills every day, but every now and again, I don't know. It's still like, it bothers me a little bit. It still makes me feel icky. Um, LaSalle is on prep. We have been safe. We've con we're constantly getting tested together. I, I have to take my lab. So I've had some conversations with uh, different group members and I've been told like sometimes it throws us off because we don't want you to think that that's how we see you. But sometimes that's how I see me. After I get done performing, after I get done and being in mess or drama, after I get off the phone arguing with somebody, whatever the case may be, I always get to come home to somebody and I get to feel safe and I get to feel cuddled. Wherever he wants to drag me to, I'ma go. And I know it's the same for me. I, I'm the safest I've ever felt in a relationship. I feel the most loved I've ever felt in, like, in a relationship in my adult life. Like, I love LaSalle to absolute pieces. Like, that is my man. <laughs> 
He's my you may, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um I am gonna need a favor. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna have to watch that little again tonight. What you mean? Because I have an event to go to, Miss Nicole. It's a five year anniversary for her shop. Y'all wanna help me pick out some outfits? No. No? No. You don't wanna help me pick out my outfit? Yeah, see, no. You want cookie. It's cookie time. Do you wanna help me pick out my outfits? I love these two so much. I feel like I can't. Ah! My family. Jesus Christ. I have a family. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go pick out some clothes for this time. Oh, he's gonna stop. Oh, you got me. Yo. 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 Finally feels good to just kind of get back home for just a quick second. I've been in between gigs, going back and forth, balancing everything has been taxing to say the least, but I know I'm gonna reap these rewards real soon. So it's really nice to connect with Earl, chop it up with him and get some more of his wisdom. So how have you been? I've been good. I've been really good. So right now I'm on another show for the Food Network. And okay. It's a pretty, pretty popular show called Alex vs. America. Um, the f you do you? Okay, I had no <laughs> idea. Like, I, it's really popular, but I had no idea about that. But um, your creative projects, what's 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 at the forefront for you now in terms of creative endeavors? Um, still the album is still. I'm only three tracks down. You know, I mean, to, to be done with it. You know, it's it's gonna be a full project, 17 tracks total, and um, I just have three little tracks that I'm that I have to have on it. It's just me trying to find the time of of trying to fit in the schedule to do it. Earl then asked what's going on with the album. It's pretty much all on the journey that I've been since I've been living in this house. I'm um, getting and connecting more with my inner self and going through all the issues to talk about mental health and all that good stuff right there. So it's called The Man in the Bubble and I can't wait to release that with y'all real soon. How's, how's everything with your family, with your, with your twin? I know he was out here. He was, he was. He was. And, uh, tell me about what's going on with your family. I mean, Twin's good. Twin's good. He's being a dad. Nigel's good. He's being, they, they're just being parents. And, and of course, working on the projects, Twin finishing up his third album. So he's still, you know, pushing the music around. My sister, my spirit angel, my crew, I miss her so much. I feel like it's time for another trip. So maybe we should go to Atlanta or something. You know, because I, um, I miss my um, siblings a lot. I, I need to connect with them. Earl is one of the closest people I have in the state of California. Just initially, just when you, Offering a stranger a warm plate on a holiday means the world to me because I literally had nobody out here. Being out here by myself is can be tough at times. It can be really lonely. I miss my family dearly all the time. You know, I, it's it's nice that I'm just now starting to feel like I'm building a sense of tribe and community out here. But that's been these last seven years have been rocky because it hasn't been that for me. Tell me about some of the some of the new people that are part of and I understand that you that you're connected with this group. Yes. So remember. I went on a trip to Palm Springs mm -hmm. that I told you about. Um, that was great. Everything was great. Um, there was a lot of drinking involved. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have drank as much as I did. You know, Andre got into some bullshit uh, with Rich. And um, they kind of went head to head and Nicole felt some kind of way. There is uh, another individual in this group. Um, and I love her down. I think she's a, a great girl. Um, we have fun together. She's. You know, a playful, flirtatious energy. I played off a bit. You know, we're in Palm Springs, we're hugging. Right. You know, we made out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It was it was a great time. But then when we separated, I guess, you know, she felt some kind of way because of the last night. The last night when everything exploded with the high, high energy and high emotion. Um, she pretty much thought that I was in cahoots of trying to like play her out or 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 like kind of lead her on or or make a mockery of her in front of at, in front of the group. So I was like thrown off when they kind of just approached me with that, you know, right. with these strong convictions right. and um, hey, I go this way. Do do do. It's the first time it's being brought to me, so it was kind of like, oh wow, this is throwing me off type shit. You have to manage the relationships you have with people. I mean, you are the one who's responsible. I'm really excited to celebrate Nicole, of course, celebrate the queen that she is, but I'm a little weary of running into certain people um, just because I'm really trying to be protective of my energy these days. 
and I really want to make sure that I'm given and put my best foot forward. Okay, I, I know I just got here, but I have another event tonight, like I said. <laughs> We're Nicole, she's celebrating her anniversary for her hair salon. I want to go, I want to support. So, All right. with that being said, cheers. cheers. Love you. Love you too. And I'll see you later. <laughs> have fun. I will, I will, I will. Coming up on Chasing LA. Thank you, Mom, for being everything that I needed you to be. Look who it is. Yeah, hey. so finally got a break. I know. Come on, Snatch Waste. Kind of had a little situation with Nicole. She took a photo of me and posted it on Twitter. Why are you taking pictures of me posting them on Twitter? She's like, I thought you was laying with me. You in here with her? Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was like, girl, like, wait, what? Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. What's up, y'all? I got a special announcement for you guys. If you want an opportunity to win one of these, that's only 10. Special limited, rich bomb motherfucking fans that came from my on God studio. I'll be signing these personally for 10 people. All you gotta do is stream on God. It's out everywhere, any platform, stream this shit, tag me in it. You can tag me in it, put in your story, or you can just go ahead and shoot me a message in my DM because you know, your boy will be right here. But again, there's only 10 of these mugs in the world. Rich Bomb, original, signed, fan, by myself, with a special message. Go stream on God. That's the only way you can get in there, baby. Hey, hey, y'all. Pack your bag because you are invited to the Twitch Takeover in Cancun, Mexico. That's right, your boy Q will be in the building. For your favorite nerd, Oliver Twix, and the queen herself, Miss Lauren England, will be gracing us with her presence. That's February the 10th through the 14th. It's a five-day all-inclusive stay at one of the finest five-star resorts in Mexico. So treat yourself to a luxury stay with beach access, on-site attractions, spa amenities, fine dining, unlimited food, and drinks, y'all, and daily activities hosted by the one and only Power of Three, including a free masterclass on business, content creation, and marketing. And guess what, y'all? New co-hosts have been added to the lineup. Gardenia, a.k.a. Rick Rosa in Berlin, and Jay Twan from We Were Born with special guest appearances by Jay Moore, and that's right, my babies all the way from L.A. will be in the building. Everything is included, guys. All you have to do is book your flight and show up. Now, it's only a $100 deposit to lock in at the early bird rate before the price goes up July 31st. Go to www.twixtrip.com to book your package and make sure you let them know your boy Q sent you and click the name that I referred you. I want to see all y'all in Cancun. We finna put, 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 party, 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 y'all. Listen, pack your bags, and I'll see you there. It's your boy, Q. <laughs> Baby, it has been a journey, honey. Between three years of actually being open, two years of COVID, I am just blessed to be able to see this day. I'm so excited to celebrate it with my closest friends, my family, some of my clients, my staff. I'm just blessed to be able to have made it to five years because a lot of businesses did not survive this pandemic. So today is extra special to me and I hope everybody enjoys it. So I'm here, I have arrived at Nicole's fifth year red carpet hair studio anniversary. She's made it through the pandemic and I think that is just incredible. I can't wait to see her and celebrate with her tonight. Red Um, in pure Nicole fashion. She looks so pretty. She looks so good. Um, I'm still waiting on my wigs on Nicole. <laughs> Where's my hair? <laughs> Oh, I'm always wearing 
Now, Rich is my brother, honey, and I love him to death, but I know that man had a suit in the closet somewhere. Rich. I know you said I didn't give you the theme, because there really wasn't a theme, but it's a five-year anniversary party. It's a red carpet. It's the red carpet hair studio. You could have put on your nice touch, your nice suit for me. Hey, I'm cool looking fly anyway, so I'm just here to show love. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Hold up, wait a minute. Is that Richard Bob looking like take me out to the ball game dressed in a baseball uniform and not in the fabulous dress code of the five year anniversary of the Red Carpet Hair Studios? I know Nicole is gonna have his head for this. Boom. Now I haven't been around the collective group since Palm Springs, um, but I see Rich Bomb is pulled up. I don't know where everybody is in their journey because the last time I seen everybody, he was up in some people's face. <laughs> so I don't know what the mood is gonna give. I know I'm gonna stay in the corner with my beverage. I don't wanna be anywhere in the crossfire. <laughs> It's hot then, e motherfucker in the cold shop. I think the AC not working, okay? Not Miss Negativity talking about the water at the retreat and her AC at her shop at her five year anniversary is not working? My, 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 let me pull Hershey to the side so we can uh, catch up because I haven't seen her since the retreat. How you doing, Keith? I've been doing good. good. You know, just working on, you know, building my clientele. Yeah. Coming up with new jokes, you know, since I've been getting into the whole stand-up thing. Yeah, how's that been? Oh, it's amazing. I know I got booked back home and it went great. I think I've been like, you know, trying to, you know, set myself up for failure, but it's just, you know, it's not giving that. Like, like girls that? just keep on. Like, I wanted to get up there and, you know, the fail, and then I could just be like, you know, I'm not good at this whole comedy thing. That, yeah. You know, but it's not giving it. The girls are just like, it's hey, not how are you doing? Same old, same old. Uh, the last time I seen you, girl, it was, you know, you laughed, you got to meet your friends. It was, it was, uh, that was an emotional weekend. It was yeah. far too much. No shade. I think the, I, I mean, you were sitting in the room with me, though, but I got aggravated the most. Like, my hype was when Jayla, like, brought up Nicole after they had just got over their shit. And the way I saw it, the just time, got done saying we good. Just got done saying we good. And walked into the bedroom and said, you know it seems like at this point, her frustrations with the cold are like made up. So Hershey's giving me like, you know, Jayla's being fake because it's like she's looking for a reason to be mad at Nicole. When are we gonna stop this repetitive ass bullshit? Every time, yes. Every time, hey. Because I, I just, Nicole hasn't said anything since they made up. That's what I'm saying. For me, every time I've seen them spoke speaking. No, there's no tea. Oh, no tea for us. <laughs> Jayla and Nicole made up, there was no, there was no beat. Every time I seen them interact, it was in love, it was in peace. So every time Jayla now is coming up saying that she still has a problem with her, I get frustrated because I'm like, for what? I was full and it was frustrated and I'm tired of it. You can't get mad at her over something you don't even know if she actually did it. You said you saw it, did you ask her, girl, what was that, no, what's that no, shade no, that you was going? What's that look? That night when we got into our little argument, she said, I don't feel like I can tell you certain things anymore. And I said, I didn't tell her that actually. In my mind, I was like, you know what? That's fair. You can't, because I don't want to keep hearing about it. Okay. I just feel like at this point, all the stuff that we are arguing about, it's it's all dead to me. It's all unnecessary. It's all dry. That's that's why I left. Like by the time I I felt Rich Bob's breath down my back while I'm walking towards the door. So by that time, I was like, I didn't even care. I just went and packed my bags up and I hit the door. If that's what we gonna do this whole time, I don't need to be come around the group too much often, because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this argument. It's, it's, it's dead. Well, first of all, let me start by thanking everybody for coming, okay? We're celebrating five years. Five years! Oh, yeah. 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 That's a blessing. We survived the whole fucking pandemic, honey, okay? A lot of businesses did not make it, baby, but guess what? We're here. Okay? We are here, still standing, honey. 
Let me first, you know, give a little shout out to everyone who came. Thank you everybody for coming. <laughs> Christy, thanks for coming. Christy's a red carpet OG, honey. Thank you, Christy, so much for coming. For five years of excellent service, the Red Carpet Hair Studio presents this award to Brianna Amy. Thank you for being a part of this event. I don't know how God knew to place this person in my life. She is everything I need her to be when I don't even know I need her to be it. She's my rock. She's my partner. She supports me. If I say, bitch, we're selling oranges on the side of the freeway tomorrow, she starts to see. She's literally the yin to my yang. She's everything that I need someone to be when I don't even know that I need them to be it. She's just everything that I need her to be. All the, all the, all the, all the, all the freaking fracking. You better motherfucking say that. Hey, y'all got motherfucking know it, okay? Yes, what I got? I got something to do. So this says, for five years of excellent service, the Red Carpet Hair Studio would like to thank Natasha Banks, for her leadership and her dedication to the brand. I love you, baby. I mean, I got the same shoes on. I'm going to go. And guess what? She bought hers first. Period. Period. So, this next person, she doesn't do hair. <laughs> But she is literally the backbone to everything that I do. If there's any moves that I make in this life, they're not possible without her. She invests in every idea that I have. She supports every idea that I have. She literally came in this salon when I first opened it and still to this day cleans the bathroom without fail, whether the maid is coming or whether she's not coming. She's, whew, she's just everything that I ever could have imagined to be birthed from. She lets me shine and takes a back seat when she's really the glue that makes everything fucking happen. <laughs> she supported me from day one. She's loved me. She's rolled out for me. She's anything that I've ever, if I say tomorrow we're going to New Zealand to make this happen, we're going to New Zealand to make this happen. She, there literally nothing happens without her. So everybody thinks, you know, Nicole that does this, Nicole does that, Nicole does this, Nicole does that. Nothing happens without this lady's blessing, without this lady's support, without this lady's courage. She's the strongest woman that I know. Everybody thinks I'm strong, I take care of her. She takes care of me. She makes sure that I'm okay. She balances me, she supports me. So, whew, the Red Carpet Hair Studio would like to thank Elizabeth Odin, the backbone of the salon, and for her tireless efforts and support for over five years. Thank you, Mom for being everything that I needed you to be and then some I love you you're my best friend and you know, I appreciate you and then you know and that's all she gets on my nerves though but oh um, she, she gotta give a speech hold on guys she she's really the secret investor so she can give a speech I thank you I wasn't expecting this I just want to say that my daughter is my world she is my pride and joy. She has always wanted to be somebody and own something from day one. This is a dream of hers all her life. It's, it's, she never stopped. It, I, it's from selling lemonade, selling toys, selling stuff out of my kitchen, <laughs> anything to, to make money. 
for her to get and to survive. She was like, no, I don't want this outfit, and no, I can't. I, I can't shop there, Nicole. I don't. I can't afford those clothes. Okay, well, I'm gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna sell some money, sell some things. Sorry, to get some money. <laughs> so I can buy my own clothes that I want. Okay, and then it was. When she fell in love with hair, I just let, she was just playing in my hair. I thought it was just, you know, we were just having this girl time. But then she took it and ran with it, and my kitchen stayed um, full of people. Because <laughs> she was like, uh, no, I need to buy this. I need a car. I need this. So I'm going to make my own money. I'm like, hey. So I don't work. It's according to her. But I, I'll give her everything everything she thinks she's I'm her she's my world yeah. I love you very much having the vision to open the salon and bringing me on for the ride I appreciate everything that you do from the burgers to the motherfucking trips to glasses, to gifts, whatever the fuck you want to give me. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I do. And period. I love you, boo. Love you too. And, um, yeah, let's turn this motherfucker Let's turn it. Everybody's drink. That's enough of this emotional stuff, honey. Let me dry these tears. Let me change my outfit. And let's get this party started, honey. I have spent too much money and too much effort, honey, to be moping around, honey, in my feelings about these speeches, child. Let's get it going, honey. The turn up is real, honey. The drinks are flowing. The music is jumping, honey. I'm about to slip into this hood rap dress, honey, and do hood rap shit with my hood rap friends. <laughs> let's go, y'all. Real shit, man, the night is vibing along. Things are going good, the alcohol is flowing, the food is good. The group seems to be getting along as well. You know, everyone is being cordial, being nice, and I find it like, finally, you know, pretty pleasant, you know, and it should be this way. I mean, we're out here celebrating, so everyone should be on a good, upbeat note. I know Ooh. I saw on a spark, fuck, honey, you know, and I really appreciate you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I know what we're doing, and I know what it's giving, and I really wanted y'all to come, but I really wanted y'all to come. Like, I would not have invited y'all, no matter what y'all have I spent a lot of motherfucking money, right. and I would not have invited y'all. I appreciate everybody for dressing up, looking nice, honey. Can you for this motherfucking crazy yeah. 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 outfit, yeah. okay? Yeah. 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 Shit out, honey. Okay, yeah. and I appreciate you. I'm glad I came out and was able to talk to Nicole, get to know her better, see some of the other people from the group, and I'm excited for her five year anniversary and to five more Nicole. I would absolutely love to come to more functions like this. Everybody's getting along, There's so much camaraderie among the group. Everybody's smiling, everybody's drinking, everybody's having a good time. This was absolutely fabulous. I did not mind driving all the way across California for this. <laughs> I just appreciate everybody for coming because you guys did not have to. You know what I mean? And I appreciate you guys for coming. And I hope you guys have a good time. And I want y'all to keep Wonderful getting time. drunk. Yeah. I want y'all to keep getting drunk because I pay for this bartender and this food and all this yeah. shit. And I want y'all to have a good motherfucking time. I'm celebrating five motherfucking years. Five 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 years. The night was such a success. I'm so grateful that so many people from the group could come. Thank you, Hershey. Thank you, King Payne. Thank you, Fly King I, aka Ian. Thank you, Poetic, my baby. Thank you, Rich Bomb, my brother. I'm so glad that you guys felt it in your heart to come and celebrate this joyous occasion with me. Thank you to my mom. Thank you to Tasha Banks. Thank you to Bree. Thank you to RJ. Thank you to Jay. Thank you to the whole entire staff for just holding me down and being a part of this squad for five whole years. I would not have made it without you guys. Thank you to all my family, my friends, the clients that showed up, the friends of the friends that showed up. Hell, the plus ones, plus twos of the world, honey. Today was the day where everybody was welcome, honey. We had enough food, we had enough drinks, so thank y'all all for coming out. Now it's time to get to the after party because we still got a little bit of liquor left over, honey, and we cannot let it go to waste, honey, so. Here we go. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nicole. Go grab your popcorn and come on back because we got more show for you, honey. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to everything Chasing Reality.
goes the dynamite. Tick, tick, goes the dynamite. You can see it with your eyes as a prize. Don't be scared, put your eyes on the prize. Welcome to Christmas in the summertime. You guys are on the set with me today of Holiday Hope Street, an amazing new Christmas film that I am the lead costume design for. And I'm super excited to bring you guys into my world as a fashion stylist, as a costume designer, working in commercial television and film. This one is a complete town. It has a courthouse and convenience stores and all of these really cool sets that we're gonna be using to create our beautiful Christmas movies. You know, you want me, me know, you want me, you know, you want me, me know, you want me. Now you guys already know that last year I had to help one of my good friends get their feet wet in this film business. And today I'm working with one of my favorites, the D Hawkins. <laughs> He is our set designer and prop master. He does all of the art for this amazing Christmas film. So we've been working extremely hard. So we just want to get together, catch a break, get some lunch and catch up. Like I've missed him so much. What's going on? Look who it is. Yeah, hey. so look, you finally got a break. I know. Come on, snatch waist. Well, you know what? You got to work on it even when you're working. Oh. All right. How are you doing, child? You've been busy today. Yeah. Getting it all, getting it all together. These 12 and 14 hours for the last six days. Stay yeah. busy. You know, you've been here. I know, I was so tired, I was so tired. So how's it going? It's so far so good, you know, this is like another project in the bag. We've been consistent with it, so I've been, I'm glad to like, you know what I'm saying, see how far you've come and how far we've grown as friends, you know what I'm saying? Real friends. That part, you know, yeah. Child, the girls be. You know, the girls in the group, you know, they like to pretend <laughs> they sometimes, be, they but be real recognized child, friends. Okay? But I also have to touch base, you know, I always, always, always gotta go back and you know, remember the bridge that my grandma would say got me on and thank you for oh. getting me into the set design. Of you know? course. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. Um, you know, like my mom and my grandma raised me, so it was like I had two moms, so you know, for the first time, you know, since I've been living, it was just it was hard to take that reality and not receive that call, you know, from her. You know, my grandma lived ninety years. You wow. know, so you know, it's just just the fact that, you know, in my mind it's like I knew she wouldn't be here forever, but you know, when somebody's in your life for so long, you right. think that they're going to be here for Yeah, you never expect that they're gonna leave. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, D. Hawkins lost his grandmother who actually raised him growing up. And today is actually the day after Mother's Day. It's his first Mother's Day without his grandmother. And I have experienced many, many of these Mother's Day. I'm actually glad that today we are here together and that we're working because I get to have this moment with him, but then we also get to do what we love and keep ourselves busy. So I need to touch base with my baby and see how he's doing. When the last time you talked to old Jeremy Copeland, child? You know, the last time I saw Jeremy was the last time you probably saw him, uh, which was, did you go to the Zeus thing? At the, the Zeus, Zeus party. Yes, at the Zeus yes. Network party, okay. It, it was good. You know what? It's actually, you know, a good thing that we're, you know, um, on good terms and, you know, yeah. all the beef has been buried and everything. I saw y'all being friendly and catching up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know, um, all is well. You know, I'm glad. Like I said, that was just a lot. You know, especially yeah. leading up to that reunion. You know, like um, it was really a learning experience. Right. You know, I can't get mad at the fact of how things you know panned out, but um, I grew a lot from it. You know, right. I learned um, a lot. And you and know, you saw who your real friends were. You know what I'm saying? The people they be your friend one day, ready to throw you under the bus the next day. That's how we're rolling. Child, right? You know, the you girls know. they be looking for a moment. Well, child, your name show still been a hot topic because the girls been talking about what does D Hawkins do, and now we see it exactly what it is that you do and Child, your house for do. sale and all type mm. of stuff you know what i'm saying you know they want to know they want to know they want to be in the business child they want to be in the juice that so part. bad but you know what i'm not mad at it keyword house not apartment uh -oh. not room not studio house uh -oh. And it's a blessing. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Because I've once had an apartment, you know. I'm, I'm just very grateful, you know, for my setup and, you know, the way I've been blessed throughout this time. But enough about me right now. So what's going on in the group? Well, I heard know, we got some, some, some newbies in the group. We got some you know? newbies. I think you might know, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you know some of the people poetic. We brought got poetic. him hanging out with us he now. Came on, he came along from a little birthday venture. I don't know if you know Nicole Ray. She's a, a hairstylist. You know, I've met her. I think I've met her once out of WeHo. That's, I think that's about all. Well, you know, I heard through the grapevine that uh, 
you had a little bit of an encounter with someone Did named, I? yes, with uh, one of the new group members. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Rich, right? I, I don't know him. I don't Rich, recall. Rich, Rich Bob? Rich Bob. Mm. Rich Bob. Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> you sure? No. You know what I'm talking about. You I know, mean, short with dreads. Yeah, I know Rich. Like, uh, I met him or whatever. And he, it started off kind of cool. He seemed cool. Things just took a left turn, you know? He tried to have like a little moment. I don't know. He said he don't like my character. And, you know, but I know one thing. My focus is always on Andre. Oh, no, it's right. always on the bag. And I let the girls claw and clamor for a moment all they want to, but I'm unbothered. <laughs> I'm unbothered. Seem pretty chat. Speaking on the group, so when was the last time the group was actually together? Because we've been working a lot lately. We have. Well, we were all together in Palm Springs, of course, and that's okay. when some of the tea got revealed about your house and all of that kind of stuff, you know. Now, wait a minute. About my house. <laughs> yes. Now, who is speaking of my house? <laughs> well, you know. Recently, I did. We are rolling our gate final please. Mark department. They are it's time to wrap this little mini conversation up because the walkie talkies they're calling they're letting us know that we're about to get ready and go for some takes so it's about to be lights camera and action which means shh why don't say i'm just glad to see you're doing well i'm glad to see you're thriving well, absolutely i know we gotta get back to work child we're supposed to be supposed to be quiet on set but we over here got you know what, sometimes it's good to just take a moment i know take a breather because we should be We've been working a lot lately, but it's good to see you. I've missed you. It's, it's good, good to see you. We connect as always. Yes, we did. Before I wrap this thing up, you know, I'm thinking this might be a good time to see if I can get my boy D Hawkins to kind of come hang out and get back in the mix. So I don't know if he's up for it. You know, he's busy doing a million things, but let's see what happens. Okay, so look, I'm tired, but I got a call from my boy William. He wants to stop by. Now, I have not seen William since we just met each other at Mixer. There has been a lot of events and outings and things that has happened. So, I want to sit with him and catch up and kind of see where his mindset is at because I hope we didn't scare him off. What's up? So, what's shit. been going on, Mr. Man? Oh, a whole lot of shit. But mm -hmm. let me tell you, I know you wanted to meet out by the pool, but you know me and pools. We don't get along. Well, I don't know why y'all don't get along. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, you know. Well, I, I mean, I, I just let's just say there was a lot of splashes and hits and splashes. <laughs> I just don't do well with pools. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, okay. but yeah. Other than that, we in your home. Yeah. It's cute. And look, I am really happy you got this boot off of your Thank head. Thank you. Oh my God, I was. I couldn't imagine. Over. Be a doggy style in that boot. That, oh, that's not even cute. <laughs> not in that boot. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the only fans probably would have liked it though. I mean, I mean, there's cute a, coins the, on there, y'all. There is a brand out here for everybody. <laughs> right. But yeah, so you haven't been here since the uh, what? Love Mixer. The Mixer. Oh, not Love Mixer. What, uh, sorry. The We Met Mixer. The We Just Met Each Other that's Mixer. It. I'm getting my mixers mixed up. Try to love a mixer. See, that's the thing. It's like, I, mind you, I have been in a whole nother group at yeah. the same time, dealing with all that shit, mm -hmm. dealing with all those drama and all those fights and all their issues. Mm -hmm. Then I come into this, we met Mixer, right. meet everybody with this group, I'm ready to get a gun and just go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I cannot take it, I'm yeah. over it, <laughs> leave me out. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I've been doing and, and it's just been a lot dealing with it, not only not only, you know, being a part of different groups and then you have social media and you have mm -hmm. people that talk and you have people that love you and people that hate you and people that sit mm -hmm. at home that are broken, ugly and have so much to say about you. Yeah. Um, I know last time you was here, you kind of had a little situation with Nicole. Have you spoken to anyone since? Um, I actually was having a, um, a get together at a public event with my other group mm -hmm. and Nicole popped up and then not the event I went to right no this event this other event when we had a red carpet for my other group 
Oh, okay. The beginning of this event. Okay, got it. Okay. So basically, she popped up. You invited her? I did not. She must have been um, cute <laughs> clout chasing with someone that was there. Mm -hmm. But um, the thing is, is that she took a photo of me and posted it on Twitter of, from behind me. So it's actually giving obsessed. So she came to the event. She came to an event. Did I she guess, speak to you? She did not. But took a photo of I you. I looked behind me because, mind you, I have to go do my red carpet yeah. and my looks and my interviews. Nicole pops up sitting in, at the bar next to where our red carpet is and took a photo of me from behind in my luxurious Yellow Power Rangers outfit and posted it on Twitter and said, look at this. So I'm sitting there with Jeremy and I'm trying to explain to him what just happened at my premiere. Miss Nicole shows up, takes some pictures of me on some stalker stuff when she has so much to say about me all the time. Mind you, she was looking like Inspector Gadget sitting there taking pictures of me from behind. And I didn't really notice it was her until I turned around a few times later. I done three, four drinks in. And I'm like, what is she doing here? What is my stalker doing here? What's going on? And why are you taking pictures of me, posting them on Twitter, thinking that it's gonna get a response when baby, it didn't even have one like but her. I was I was kind of like, giving, what are you giving up, Cessus? Why, yeah. are you, why are you at my other group event taking yeah. pictures of me? While we're having a conversation about the group and still discussing like the situations with Nicole, I just let him know and I've let her know. She reacting real delusional sometimes. You know, her favorite quote is delusion and grandeur, but she puts the capital D in delusion sometimes. I love you, sis, but you really act like you don't know why people are irritated, why they're upset. I mean, you just posted this boy on social media. You call this boy Malibu's most wanted, like all this stuff, and you don't really know him like that. So we got to get to some resolve, but Nicole has to really like take some accountability for some of the stuff that she calls light shade and light funny pegginess. When you're not cool with somebody like that, it's not funny for them. So it's not gonna go anywhere. So that gave so that gave weird energy. Okay. A very weird energy. Anybody else? You are you good with everybody? I mean, I'm good you may with not everybody know them, else, but here's the thing, it's like a new group, new first impression, yeah. new big energy, new new light in the room, yeah. new race, all of that good stuff. How do you feel about Hershey? Um, I thought he was cool. At first, I felt like he didn't like me. You know, it's a new group. Of course, they're not going to yeah. lie to you. When your light is shining, people will always have a problem. I think he doesn't understand the brand. Like, the conversation we had in the studio, yeah. I think he doesn't understand the where it comes well, from. Exactly. See, so, that's the thing. It's like, a lot of people are always like, oh, you're a culture vulture, and et cetera. And, he, and, and Hershey brought that up at yeah. King Payne's um, event. It was like, like I'm trying to tell everybody, I'm not a culture vulture, I'm a culture companion. You know, mm -hmm. I have to follow these these routes of, you know, the Eminem, the Justin Bieber's, the Justin Timberlakes, you know, they adapted and, and succeeded and so will I. Mm -hmm. The last time I was with Hershey, he was calling me a culture vulture that he's not feeling what I'm doing. The thing is, is that he just don't understand me. Yeah, I might be who I am, but I'm different. There's not one of me in this market, that's why I'm winning, okay? Second of all, you know, he has all these problems with me. He doesn't even know me. He doesn't give me the chance to explain who I am, where I'm from. And that doesn't make me, I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. It doesn't mean I'm trying to be African American and I'm trying to be black and all of these things. That has nothing to do with what I'm trying to be. I'm just trying to make a movement. I'm trying to make my people, the white people, understand that, that there is more to it. That, you know, you wouldn't have culture without black people. You wouldn't have good food or good music or good television. Like, like get it together. So it's, this new group oh this new group of people so that I've been not with. even getting into that because that's a whole oh. other piece of that but with that with this new experience do you feel like it's kind of like do you, not derails you but do you feel like all the hoopla that's come from it has kind of like took you off your focus like I would say there's a lot happening there is a lot and every blog's posting about it yeah um I would definitely say that uh it, it gave me a new experience on being part of groups mm -hmm. and and you know, trusting no one. You gotta take the good with the bad and make the best of it. We are all out here following our dreams, not knowing who's gonna call or how it's gonna happen. And when that phone call comes and, and there's people say, you gotta do this, this, and that, mm -hmm. you gotta do it. And, and, and if you do not do it, the next person will, well, you will be thinking, what if I would've did it? Yeah. So whether I'm out here making a fool of myself or I'm out here getting it, all publicity is good publicity and I'm still winning. Me being white and me being gay, you know, and being on a black network, it was hard for me. It was hard, and I had to make it work the best I could, and this is just what I had to go through. Let me ask you a question. What's up? 
Are you knowing the brand of mm-hmm. the other group? Uh-huh. Are you surprised this is happening? Um, I'm not surprised at, at all. Yeah. Um, I thought it would have been better, a Got better it. experience. But mm-hmm. I mean, I'm white. I'm gay. I do hip hop music. There's three red flags. Now you're a white man on a a white gay man on a black owned network. While at the same token, white networks make black people look crazy. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Now I have to play the character of the crazy. So mm-hmm. if that's how it has to be, that's how it has to be. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got to find you in the in, in, in the group with everybody. I haven't really been around either. I've been extremely busy. Mm-hmm. But it's time for both of us to kind of pop our head back in. You know, uh-huh. show show What's show the people you? you know what what really work to look uh-huh. like, and that's not a read to everybody. Right. But some people still coming soon. Mm-hmm. I do feel that. I also feel like a lot of people in the group um, think that I'm not here or I don't show up to parties or events. Well, baby, there's a whole lot of groups and a whole lot of <laughs> events I gotta attend and a whole yeah. lot of checks I gotta collect. And I'm so sorry, but um, you know, cry me a river. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to. Make best friends with the block buttons. Right. I've been in the industry for a very, very, very long time, and he knows that. And so I've had those moments where I just really wanted to stop, give up. This industry is a lot, but I let him know, like, I've had really great mentors along the way that have given me little nuggets and tidbits that help me out. And my favorite one is Lorian Gibson. I remember I was dealing with something at a time years, years ago, and she pulled me aside and she was like, Embrace the struggle is because you're great. And I always held on to that because when you watch these stories of these celebrities and these people who deal with stuff, they always have this dramatic ass story. It's always something that's happened. Like it all comes from someplace. So a lot of times we don't see it in the moment where we're in that story. We're in that place that we're going to tell people about later on. So you got to just embrace it. It's because you're great. It's going to all make sense at the end. I promise. So with our Malibu's Most Wanted event, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um is Nicole invited? Oh, I'd love for all of my haters to be there. Yes. So yes, she could be number one on the VIP list. Show okay. up, sis. Okay. And show out. Sis. We'll send her invite first. Yes. Since invite. she loves to take pictures of me and come to my other events. Yeah. For my other groups. Come to this. I one. want you to meet Nicole. I, I talk to her on the phone and meet. Well, know. I hope so. Yeah. Well, I mean, you She's know, cool. as long as it don't end in any drinks being thrown, I mean it is what it is. Shower time, party time, whatever. Oh. So look, I love giving advice. I love giving nuggets to the people. But baby, it's tired. William, I love you, but you got to go. So in the process of that, I'm like, look, I think it'd be great if you throw something or maybe we throw something together. You know, maybe Malibu's most wanted, something in Malibu, something in his realm. I think it'd be really cool if we kind of went into his environment and people kind of seen William, hopefully it doesn't take me six months to see him again. I love you, William, but gotta go. Okay. No, 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 either way, it makes me do bad things. Oh, oh, I'm you know. seeing you too. Okay. Bye, girl. Woo. Don't be scared, put your eyes on the prize I see you, babe, just watching. Paralyzed like you got no other option. Good vibes. five-year anniversary party king pain came to my house for the after party and Smith and I had a good time so when he hit me up to ask me about house shopping I was kind of caught off guard but I guess he liked my house and wanted me to help him you know find a house that's like my house or just help him look at houses honey so even though he and I haven't really spent too much personal time together I was excited to kind of get to know him on a one-on-one -on -one level it's different hanging out with people individually as opposed to being with him in the group and I love house shopping honey I mean I might be a realtor in my next life so let's do a king pain let me line a couple of houses up let me get it together and let's go look at these things baby <laughs> Okay, on period, so I'm back in Paris, okay, to see Nicole, okay, because she was talking all this big shit about helping people get houses when, and the official king plan is actually on the market. Good. 
I'm good. How are you? I am doing good. You know, just whew, glad to have a day off. I haven't seen you since your five year anniversary. I know. I've been so busy. Like, work has been crazy busy. So, I've just been so busy. How's things been with you, though? Things have been good. You know, I was just working, hustling, okay. getting money off the floor, period. Right. When we were on the phone, honey, you sounded a little down. You okay? What's going on? Yeah, you know, I've just been going through a lot of things right. personally. You know, and, you know. Sometimes I just feel like people don't understand that they always want uh, a, a generous king, and sometimes the fish king pain don't feel so generous. Well, because that's the energy you give. You know, I think when you're a big personality and you're so bubbly and you're so giving, you're so nice, people always expect that, but they don't expect you to go through real life stuff. You know what I mean? But real okay. life has to happen. I mean, shit, we're business owners. You know what I mean? Like, I just celebrated five years. Shit, business is hard. You know what okay. I mean? You don't understand. Yeah, I got employees. I got clients. I got celebrity clients. I got this. I got that. It's a lot to juggle. You know what I mean? Like, shit, holding this shit down for five years has not been easy at all. You know what I mean? There's good days. There's bad days. Shit, we just went through a whole pandemic. You okay. know what I mean? Like, surviving a pandemic in this industry, because hair is the first thing people want to cut out. You know what okay. I mean? They got to eat, but they don't care about getting their hair done if something is going no. on. So you got to be prepared to sustain stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm here. So I've had a long day. It's been a long ride. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. You know, I take this moment to talk to Nicole and, and try to relate. You know, we both are in the hair industry. It's a very up and down industry. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, how, you know, how she does it, you know, how she has this house and how she has this business and how she maintains with the up and downs of the hair industry. Sometimes you just need a break for your mental health and you can't be afraid to take those breaks and right. to focus on you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And right now I'm just in a, a, a state of focusing on myself, right. self-care, self-health. Absolutely. And all of that because, you know, if I don't got myself, like who can I expect to have me? Right. I know we all go through a lot of things publicly and privately and sometimes they get the best of us but i want him to know that better days are coming we're gonna go look at houses hopefully he finds one he likes or hopefully he's at least inspired with something that he likes and it can kind of cheer him up a little bit because i see my friend is kind of down today and you know i don't like to see anybody down so come on friend let's go look at these houses honey that are bomb i mean i might want another house like what's that? i love house shopping <laughs> Well, speaking of business, honey, thank you so much for coming to my five-year anniversary party. How'd you yeah. like the party? The party was amazing. I love the party. I was oh, like, oh, I got some competition. Somebody ah! else is <laughs> <laughs> a party. And I was okay. like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now look, friends, so I saw you and Poetic Honey tiptoe off during the party, honey, and then y'all both came back with a little energy. What was what was going on? I was just explaining to Poetic that. I don't appreciate people coming into this group creating confusion. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate the fact that, you know, we playing with you and Jalen's emotions. Like, you know. Like, well, he ain't playing with me. Let me put I, that out there. I don't even he feel like he likes the girls like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, mean, like, I can't confirm nor deny, but I'll just say. But he, he was likes kissing Jayla at the club. And I did not know anything about that until somebody told me. And I was just like, wait, he kissed her. What? He was holding her hand. I did see that. And I let that live. From the conversation I had with Jayla, it made her feel uh, some type of way because she thought that he was really interested in her and I, I, I guess he was just going with the flow. So I don't know. I think he was drunk and he was having fun, she was having fun. Cause you know, me and him talk all the time, you know what I mean? So he and I already had some things arranged, situated, you know, we we already were canoodling off scene about what was gonna go on, you know what I mean? Just saying, we, you know, cause we hang out. Like I literally be with him all the time. So I don't know what, like when he walked in the building, honey, Miss Jayla was just ready for it, honey. I was like, and I didn't say nothing because, you know, she and I had already had a tiff the day before. So I was like, I'm gonna let this girl have her fun, do your thing. I don't wanna seem shady and be like, girl, that's enough for that. You know what I mean? Cause he ain't my man, honey. Now he's my man when I want him to be, but he ain't my man, my man. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, let me let her do what she wants to do, honey. But I never saw them kiss. They kiss for real, for real. Girl, that was tongue kissing. It girl. was like a tongue. Oh my God. It was, it, was, it was all time. Oh it was a lot God. of time. 
It was a lot of action. It was a lot of slobber, a lot of spit. It was all of that. And then it was very surprising for me to see him kissing her at the club and then come home, come back to the house, and then lay in the bed with you. I was like, I never actually saw him and Jayla kiss inside the club. It's kind of interesting when people think they know people or they know what they like. Honey, you don't know what poetic likes, baby. Poetic likes what I got. <laughs> Hello. But I just kind of let him know that me and Poetic had already been conversing. We had already been hanging out. We had already had prior arrangements for this sleeping slash awake slash sleeping situation. So, I mean, as far as him and Jayla are concerned, I didn't know anything about that. I guess them two have to have that conversation. I guess he's giving Brandy and Monica, honey, the boy is mine, honey. I don't know. Now you're the mine. I don't know, like whatever we gotta do. And I didn't know anything about that. Like she came to my door and was like, hey sis, let's go outside, let's get in it. Right, let's now go outside. Let's go outside, let's now get in it. And I'm standing at the door, I'm like, oh girl, I'm going to bed, like I'm tired. We've been out all day, we've been drinking all day, honey. And she was walking further in the room and she saw him laying in the bed and honey, this girl went crazy. I was like, ooh. She was like, I thought she was laying with me. You in here with her? Oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, girl, like, wait, what? Like, I was really confused. A, I was drunk. And B, it was late, and I just didn't have time to deal with that. So I really thought it was like a joke, you know what I mean? It does sort of give, like, I I'm searching for a moment because there was extra beds in the house. There was at least two empty beds in the house. He could have got into any of the empty beds. Why get in the bed with you if he's not truly interested in you as a woman? Is he not interested in me? Is he interested in you? I mean, he told me he likes the boy. I mean, you know, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, you know, like that busty busty wine? Hello. I mean, you know. And action. Okay, so Nicole asked me about Poetic. Okay, I'm curious. She seen me outside with her man, so she want to know what we were talking about. And, you know, being the pillar of this group that I am, I feel like it's my duty to let her know that she's being played, okay, on period. I don't know, like, honestly, uh, I just don't, last year we experienced a lot of uh, 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 turbulence within the group, right. and this year I was, I was trying to and I definitely wasn't trying to like, it was no rift to her at all. You know what I mean? Like him being in my room with me, like it was between me and him. I didn't know anything about what was going on with him and her. You know what I mean? I saw them holding hands, but I was just like, oh, you know, you know, he's friendly. He's being friendly. We were all drinking. We were all, out. we were having a great time. You know what I mean? So I didn't think too much of it, honey. And I went back to my room, got in my bed, honey. And then he came in there and got in the bed. He's for everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? And with that, that being now. said, you know, I feel like, you know, after talking to him, we have an understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, I pick, I express how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You guys are all grown. Yeah, I'm like the trip was like Vegas. You know what they say about Vegas, right? What happens in Vegas stays. Stays in Vegas, baby. Yeah. So whatever happened on that trip in that house shall never be discussed again. But wasn't y'all just together the other last weekend? I said that's my man when I wanted to be. Oh, my my my. On the scene, niggas know what I mean. So fresh, so clean. Yeah, uh, bust down on the scene, niggas know what I mean. Next time on Chasing LA. I don't want you and him beefing. I mean, if she feels like she would like to have a conversation, we can talk about it. But she never said nothing to me when we woke up the next day. So at this point, I feel like people want to have arguments with me. They want to have issues with me. They don't want to resolve anything. They don't want to talk to me. All they want to do is just go around trashing me all the time. I respect them for being a part of this circle of friends that I'm making, but I don't really have to ever hang out with them ever again.